Prelude In the chaotic symphony of modern life, where the demands of society crescendo and the pressures of perfectionism reach a deafening roar, many of us find ourselves searching for a refuge, a sanctuary of peace amidst the storm. It is within this turbulent landscape that the journey of learning to care less begins, an odyssey of self-discovery, liberation, and empowerment. Welcome to a voyage beyond the confines of societal expectations and the shackles of excessive caring. In this book, we embark on an expedition into the heart of our own existence, navigating the treacherous waters of stress and anxiety to uncover the hidden oasis of inner peace and fulfillment. With each turn of the page, we will confront the pressing questions that haunt our minds and weigh heavy on our souls. What are the true sources of our discontent? How can we break free from the cycle of stress and dissatisfaction that grips us so tightly? And most importantly, how can we reclaim our autonomy and rediscover the joy of simply being? Join me as we delve into the depths of our own consciousness, challenging the status quo and embracing the radical notion that caring less may, in fact, lead to a life of greater abundance and authenticity. Together, let us embark on this transformative journey, a journey towards the freedom of caring less and the boundless possibility that lies beyond. Chapter 1. The Challenge of Modern Life Life today often feels like a relentless marathon, a perpetual race against time and expectation. In the ceaseless whirlwind of modernity, we're bombarded by demands, obligations, and the ever-present pressure to excel. It's a world where the mantra go, go, go echoes in our ears, leaving little room for pause or reflection. In this fast-paced existence, it can often seem like everyone is out solely for themselves. Selfishness pervades our interactions, driving competition and fostering an environment where looking out for number one is the norm. Caught in this self-centric cycle, it's easy to feel isolated, overwhelmed, and exhausted. Yet, despite our relentless efforts, success can feel elusive, as if we're constantly striving but never truly getting ahead. The harder we push, the more it seems like life pushes back, leaving us questioning whether our efforts are in vain. In this introductory chapter, we confront the stark realities of modern life, the relentless pace, the pervasive selfishness, and the seemingly insurmountable obstacles that stand in our way. We delve into the profound impact these factors have on our mental well-being, igniting a cycle of stress, anxiety, and discontent. But amidst the chaos, there lies a glimmer of hope, a realization that there's another path, one that promises liberation from the suffocating weight of expectation. As we embark on this journey towards caring less, we acknowledge the need for change and embrace the possibility of finding balance, peace, and fulfillment in a world that never stops spinning. The Weight of Expectations, Navigating Modern Society's Impact on Mental Well-Being Society's expectations can feel like an insurmountable burden, weighing heavily on our mental well-being. From a young age, we're conditioned to strive for success, to meet certain milestones, and to adhere to societal norms. Whether it's the pressure to excel academically, to climb the corporate ladder, or to maintain a picture-perfect image on social media, these expectations permeate every aspect of our lives. The relentless pursuit of these ideals takes its toll, manifesting in stress, anxiety, and a pervasive sense of inadequacy. We're bombarded by messages that tell us we're not thin enough, not successful enough, not attractive enough, the list goes on. The fear of falling short drives us to constantly compare ourselves to others, leading to feelings of inferiority and self-doubt. Moreover, the digital age has amplified these pressures, blurring the lines between our personal and professional lives. We're expected to be constantly connected, to respond to emails at all hours, and to maintain a flawless online presence. The fear of missing out, FOMO, drives us to constantly seek validation through likes, shares, and followers, further exacerbating our sense of inadequacy. As a result, our mental well-being suffers. Anxiety disorders are on the rise, depression rates are soaring, and burnout has become a pervasive problem. We're left feeling overwhelmed, exhausted, and disillusioned, wondering if there's more to life than this relentless pursuit of perfection. But amidst the chaos, there lies an opportunity for change. By recognizing the detrimental impact of society's expectations on our mental health, we can begin to challenge and redefine these norms. We can choose to prioritize our well-being over societal approval, to set boundaries that protect our mental and emotional health, and to cultivate a mindset of self-compassion and acceptance. 
In the pages that follow, we'll explore the art of caring less as a means to alleviate the weight of these expectations. We'll delve into the cycle of stress and anxiety perpetuated by caring too much, and we'll uncover strategies for finding balance and inner peace in a world that never stops demanding. But first, we must acknowledge the immense pressure society places on us and the profound impact it has on our mental well-being. Only then can we begin to break free from its grip and forge a path towards a more fulfilling and authentic existence. The stress cycle, when caring too much takes its toll. Caring too much often leads to a vicious cycle of stress and anxiety, perpetuating a relentless struggle to keep up with the demands of daily life. This cycle begins innocently enough, with a genuine desire to excel, to meet expectations, and to fulfill responsibilities. However, as we pour our energy into caring for others, meeting deadlines, and striving for perfection, the weight of these burdens begins to take its toll. The cycle begins with an initial surge of motivation and determination. We throw ourselves wholeheartedly into our endeavors, fueled by a desire to succeed and a fear of falling short. Yet, as the pressure mounts and the expectations escalate, we find ourselves teetering on the edge of exhaustion and overwhelm. Stress becomes our constant companion, a relentless force that gnaws away at our peace of mind and physical well-being. We lose sleep worrying about deadlines, replaying conversations in our minds, and second-guessing our every decision. Our bodies bear the brunt of this strain, manifesting in headaches, muscle tension, and digestive problems. Despite our best efforts to keep up, anxiety creeps in, whispering insidious doubts and fears into our minds. We become hyper-aware of potential threats and pitfalls, constantly scanning the horizon for signs of impending disaster. Every setback feels like a personal failure, further fueling our anxiety and eroding our self-confidence. As the cycle perpetuates, we find ourselves trapped in a relentless struggle to keep pace with the demands of modern life. Our once boundless energy wanes, replaced by a sense of lethargy and resignation. Yet even as we long for reprieve, the fear of falling short drives us to push harder, perpetuating the cycle and further compromising our well-being. But amidst the chaos there lies a glimmer of hope. By recognizing the detrimental impact of this cycle on our mental and physical health, we can begin to break free from its grip. We can choose to prioritize self-care, to set boundaries that protect our well-being, and to cultivate a mindset of detachment and resilience. Embracing Change, the Path to Caring Less In the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's easy to become ensnared in a relentless cycle of stress and anxiety. The constant barrage of expectations, responsibilities, and societal pressures can leave us feeling overwhelmed, drained, and disconnected from ourselves. Yet, amidst the chaos, there lies a glimmer of hope, a recognition of the need for change and a willingness to embrace a different path. Recognizing the need for change is the first step towards breaking free from the grip of excessive caring. It requires a moment of introspection, a willingness to confront the ways in which our current mindset and behaviors are contributing to our own suffering. It's a recognition that the pursuit of perfection, validation, and external approval is a futile endeavor, one that only serves to perpetuate our sense of inadequacy and discontent. Embracing the journey towards caring less is a radical act of self-love and empowerment. It's a conscious decision to prioritize our well-being over societal expectations, to set boundaries that protect our mental and emotional health, and to cultivate a mindset of acceptance and resilience. It's a recognition that true fulfillment lies not in the relentless pursuit of success and validation, but in the simple act of being present and true to ourselves. This journey is not without its challenges. It requires courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to let go of long-held beliefs and patterns of behavior. It may require us to confront uncomfortable truths about ourselves and to make difficult choices about how we want to live our lives. Yet, it's also a journey filled with immense possibility and growth, a journey towards greater freedom, authenticity, and inner peace. In the chapters that follow, we'll explore practical strategies for embracing this journey towards caring less. We'll delve into the power of mindfulness, self-compassion, and intentional living as tools for cultivating a more balanced and fulfilling existence. But first, we must acknowledge the need for change and summon the courage to take the first step towards a brighter, more liberated future. Chapter 2 Letting Go of Expectations The pressure to meet unrealistic expectations can feel suffocating. 
From the moment we're born, we're flooded with messages about who we should be, how we should look, and what we should achieve. These expectations, both imposed by others and self-imposed, create a rigid framework that often leaves little room for authenticity or self-expression. In this chapter, we confront the detrimental effects of clinging to these expectations and explore the liberating power of letting go. We delve into the influence of societal standards on our perceptions of success and worth, examining how they shape our behavior and sense of self. We also shine a light on the role of perfectionism in fueling stress and dissatisfaction, highlighting the relentless pursuit of an unattainable ideal. But amidst the struggle, there lies an opportunity for liberation, a chance to release the shackles of expectation and embrace a more flexible and forgiving mindset. We'll explore practical strategies for doing just that, from challenging societal norms to cultivating self-compassion and acceptance. By letting go of unrealistic expectations, we open ourselves up to a world of possibility, authenticity, and true fulfillment. Breaking the Mold, Understanding the Influence of Societal Standards Societal standards wield significant influence over our lives, shaping our perceptions of success, beauty, and worth from an early age. These standards, often perpetuated by media, culture, and social norms, create a rigid framework within which we're expected to operate. Whether it's the pressure to achieve a certain level of success, maintain a particular appearance, or adhere to specific gender roles, societal standards exert a powerful force on our thoughts, behaviors, and sense of self. From childhood, we're bombarded with messages about what it means to be successful, attractive, and worthy. We're taught to strive for perfection, to meet certain milestones by certain ages, and to conform to predefined ideals of success and happiness. These standards are insidious, seeping into every aspect of our lives and shaping our beliefs about who we should be and what we should achieve. Moreover, societal standards are often arbitrary and unrealistic, setting unattainable benchmarks that leave many feeling inadequate and unworthy. Whether it's the pressure to have a certain body type, achieve a certain level of career success, or maintain a certain lifestyle, these standards create a culture of comparison and competition that breeds insecurity and discontent. Yet, despite their pervasive influence, societal standards are not immutable truths. They are constructs created by humans and perpetuated by collective belief and behavior. By recognizing the influence of these standards on our perceptions and challenging their validity, we can begin to free ourselves from their grip. We can choose to redefine success on our own terms, to celebrate our unique qualities and strengths, and to forge our own path to fulfillment. In the chapters that follow, we'll explore practical strategies for releasing the hold of societal standards and embracing a more authentic and fulfilling way of life. But first, we must acknowledge the influence these standards have on our perceptions and summon the courage to challenge them. Only then can we begin to break free from their constraints and embrace the true beauty and potential that lies within us all. Breaking the Perfectionist Paradox, Unraveling the Role of Perfectionism Perfectionism, often hailed as a virtue, can paradoxically become a source of immense stress and dissatisfaction in our lives. This chapter delves into the intricate web of perfectionism, uncovering its role in perpetuating a cycle of unattainable standards and unrelenting self-criticism. At its core, perfectionism is the relentless pursuit of flawlessness, a quest for excellence driven by an insatiable desire to meet impossibly high standards. While the pursuit of excellence can be noble, perfectionism takes it to an extreme, demanding nothing less than perfection in every aspect of our lives. From our careers to our relationships, our appearance to our achievements, perfectionism leaves no room for error or imperfection. Yet, despite our best efforts, perfection remains elusive, leading to a perpetual sense of dissatisfaction and inadequacy. The pursuit of perfection sets us up for failure, as no one, not even the most accomplished among us, can ever meet its unattainable standards. As a result, we're left feeling perpetually disappointed, constantly berating ourselves for falling short of an impossible ideal. Moreover, perfectionism fuels a vicious cycle of stress and anxiety, as we become hypervigilant to any signs of imperfection or failure. Every setback feels like a personal affront, further fueling our sense of inadequacy and eroding our self-esteem. We become trapped in a relentless cycle of striving and self-criticism, unable to find peace or satisfaction in our accomplishments. 
But amidst the chaos, there lies an opportunity for liberation, a chance to break free from the shackles of perfectionism and embrace a more flexible and forgiving mindset. In the chapters that follow, we'll explore practical strategies for releasing the grip of perfectionism and cultivating acceptance and self-compassion. But first, we must acknowledge the role that perfectionism plays in fueling stress and dissatisfaction and summon the courage to challenge its hold on our lives. Only then can we begin to reclaim our peace of mind and embrace the imperfect beauty of being human. Embracing Imperfection – Strategies for Letting Go of Unrealistic Expectations It's precisely through letting go of perfectionism's expectations that we find liberation and peace. This section explores practical strategies for releasing the grip of unrealistic expectations and embracing acceptance and self-compassion. 1. Practice Mindfulness Mindfulness offers a powerful tool for breaking free from the grip of unrealistic expectations. By cultivating present moment awareness, we can observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, allowing us to recognize and challenge the unrealistic beliefs that fuel our expectations. Through mindfulness practices such as meditation, deep breathing, and body scans, we can cultivate a sense of inner calm and detachment from the pressures of perfectionism. 2. Challenge negative self-talk. Unrealistic expectations are often fueled by negative self-talk, the critical voice in our heads that tells us we're not good enough, smart enough, or worthy enough. By challenging these negative beliefs and replacing them with more realistic and compassionate self-talk, we can begin to cultivate a more forgiving mindset. Affirmations, cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, techniques, and journaling are all effective ways to challenge negative self-talk and cultivate self-compassion. 3. Set realistic goals. Unrealistic expectations often arise from setting goals that are overly ambitious or unattainable. By setting realistic and achievable goals, we can create a sense of progress and accomplishment without falling prey to the cycle of perfectionism. Break larger goals down into smaller, more manageable steps and celebrate each milestone along the way. Remember that progress, not perfection, is the key to success. 4. Practice self-compassion. Self-compassion is the antidote to perfectionism, a gentle reminder that we are human, flawed, and deserving of love and acceptance. Treat yourself with the same kindness and compassion that you would offer to a dear friend, acknowledging your strengths and weaknesses with empathy and understanding. Engage in self-care activities that nourish your body, mind, and soul, and remember that self-compassion is not a luxury but a necessity for well-being. 5. Cultivate Gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to unrealistic expectations, shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have. Take time each day to reflect on the blessings in your life, no matter how small, and express gratitude for them. Gratitude journaling, acts of kindness, and mindfulness practices such as gratitude meditation are all effective ways to cultivate a sense of appreciation and abundance. By implementing these strategies, we can begin to release the grip of unrealistic expectations and embrace a more flexible and forgiving mindset. Remember that change takes time and patience, and be gentle with yourself as you navigate this journey towards greater acceptance and self-compassion. Conclusion In this chapter, we've explored the suffocating pressure of unrealistic expectations, both imposed by society and ourselves. We've delved into the influence of societal standards, the role of perfectionism, and practical strategies for releasing the grip of unrealistic expectations. Through understanding the detrimental effects of clinging to these expectations, we've uncovered the liberating power of letting go and embracing a more flexible and forgiving mindset. By acknowledging the pervasive influence of societal standards and challenging their validity, we can begin to redefine success on our own terms. We've learned that perfectionism, while often celebrated, can lead to perpetual dissatisfaction and anxiety, trapping us in a relentless cycle of self-criticism. However, by recognizing the role that perfectionism plays in fueling stress and dissatisfaction, we've taken the first step towards breaking free from its grip. Moreover, we've explored practical strategies for releasing unrealistic expectations and embracing acceptance and self-compassion. From mindfulness practices to challenging negative self-talk, setting realistic goals to practicing self-care, we've discovered a multitude of tools for cultivating a more balanced and fulfilling way of life. As we continue on our journey towards caring less, let us carry with us the lessons learned in this chapter. 
Let us embrace imperfection, challenge societal norms, and prioritize self-compassion and acceptance. By doing so, we open ourselves up to a world of possibility, authenticity, and true fulfillment. Chapter 3. Prioritizing Self-Care Self-care is often neglected in the pursuit of meeting external demands and caring for others. This chapter emphasizes the importance of prioritizing self-care as a fundamental aspect of caring less. It explores various self-care practices and their impact on overall well-being. The Vital Importance of Self-Care, Nurturing Physical, Mental, and Emotional Well-Being Self-care is not a luxury, it's a fundamental necessity for maintaining overall health and well-being. In today's fast-paced world, where external demands and responsibilities often take precedence, prioritizing self-care is essential for sustaining physical, mental, and emotional health. Physical Health Self-care plays a crucial role in maintaining physical health by addressing the body's needs for rest, nourishment, and movement. Adequate sleep, nutritious food, and regular exercise are foundational aspects of self-care that support optimal physical functioning. When we neglect these basic needs, we compromise our immune system, increase our risk of illness, and experience greater levels of fatigue and discomfort. Mental Health Self-care is equally important for nurturing mental health and well-being. In a society that glorifies busyness and productivity, taking time to rest and recharge is often undervalued. Yet, prioritizing activities that promote relaxation, stress reduction, and mental clarity is essential for managing the pressures of daily life. Whether it's through mindfulness practices, creative outlets, or engaging in hobbies that bring joy and fulfillment, self-care provides a vital opportunity to restore mental balance and resilience. Emotional Health Self-care also plays a crucial role in nurturing emotional health and resilience. In times of stress, uncertainty, or adversity, taking time to tend to our emotional needs is essential for maintaining stability and inner peace. This may involve practicing self-compassion, setting boundaries, or seeking support from trusted friends or professionals. By acknowledging and honoring our emotional experiences, we cultivate greater self-awareness and emotional intelligence, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and grace. Overall, self-care is a multifaceted practice that encompasses caring for the body, mind, and spirit. By prioritizing self-care, we not only enhance our own well-being but also strengthen our capacity to show up fully for ourselves and others. As we delve into practical strategies for incorporating self-care into our daily routines, let us remember the profound significance of this practice in nurturing our physical, mental, and emotional health. Navigating Guilt, Balancing Self-Care and Selflessness in the pursuit of caring for others and meeting external demands, many individuals grapple with feelings of guilt when it comes to prioritizing their own needs. This section explores the complexities of overcoming guilt and finding a balance between self-care and selflessness without sacrificing one's well-being. Guilt, often stemming from societal expectations and internalized beliefs, can manifest as a powerful barrier to prioritizing personal needs. Many individuals feel guilty for taking time for themselves, fearing that doing so is selfish or neglectful of their responsibilities to others. This internal conflict can lead to a cycle of self-sacrifice and burnout as individuals neglect their own well-being in service of others. However, it's essential to recognize that prioritizing self-care is not inherently selfish, but rather an act of self-preservation and self-respect. Just as we are instructed to secure our own oxygen masks before assisting others on an airplane, we must prioritize our own well-being in order to effectively care for those around us. Neglecting our own needs ultimately diminishes our capacity to support others, leading to resentment, exhaustion, and decreased effectiveness in our caregiving roles. To overcome feelings of guilt and prioritize personal needs without selfishness, individuals must cultivate a mindset of self-compassion and understanding. This involves recognizing that self-care is not a luxury, but a fundamental necessity for maintaining physical, mental, and emotional health. By reframing self-care as a form of self-love and empowerment, individuals can release the grip of guilt and embrace a more balanced approach to caregiving. Practical strategies for navigating guilt and prioritizing personal needs include 1. Setting boundaries. Establishing clear boundaries around personal time and commitments is essential for maintaining balance and preventing burnout. 
Communicate your needs openly and assertively, and don't be afraid to say no to requests or responsibilities that interfere with your self-care routine. 2. Practicing self-compassion. Cultivate self-compassion by treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a loved one. Recognize that it's okay to prioritize your own needs and that doing so does not make you selfish or neglectful of others. 3. Releasing perfectionism. Let go of the unrealistic expectation that you must constantly strive to meet everyone else's needs at the expense of your own. Embrace imperfection and recognize that it's okay to ask for help or take breaks when needed. 4. Seeking support. Surround yourself with supportive friends, family members, or professionals who understand the importance of self-care and can offer encouragement and validation as you navigate feelings of guilt. 5. Practicing gratitude. Cultivate gratitude for the opportunity to care for yourself and others, recognizing the interconnectedness of self-care and caregiving. By acknowledging the value of both, you can release guilt and embrace a more balanced approach to life. Ultimately, overcoming guilt and prioritizing personal needs without selfishness requires a shift in mindset and a commitment to self-compassion and self-respect. By honoring your own well-being, you not only enhance your ability to care for others but also model healthy behaviors and boundaries for those around you. As we explore practical self-care strategies in the chapters to come, let us remember the importance of navigating guilt and finding balance in our caregiving journey. Nurturing Well-Being, Practical Self-Care Strategies for Daily Life In the hustle and bustle of modern life, prioritizing self-care can often feel like an elusive goal. Yet, integrating self-care practices into our daily routines is essential for nurturing overall well-being and resilience. This section explores practical self-care strategies and offers guidance on how to incorporate them into daily life for lasting impact. 1. Establish a morning routine. Begin each day with intention by creating a morning routine that sets a positive tone for the day ahead. Incorporate activities such as meditation, stretching, journaling, or a nutritious breakfast to nourish your body, mind, and spirit. Starting the day with self-care sets a foundation for greater balance and productivity throughout the day. 2. Practice mindfulness throughout the day. Incorporate moments of mindfulness into your daily routine to cultivate present moment awareness and reduce stress. Whether it's taking a few deep breaths before starting a task, practicing gratitude during your lunch break, or savoring a cup of tea in the evening, mindfulness offers opportunities to pause, reset, and reconnect with yourself amidst the busyness of life. 3. Schedule regular breaks. Breaks are essential for recharging your energy and maintaining focus and productivity. Incorporate regular breaks into your daily schedule, whether it's a short walk outside, a brief meditation session, or a few moments of stretching at your desk. By honoring your body's need for rest and renewal, you'll enhance your overall well-being and performance. 4. Prioritize sleep. Make sleep a non-negotiable priority by establishing a consistent bedtime routine and creating a sleep-friendly environment. Aim for 7-9 to nine hours of quality sleep each night to support physical and mental health. Avoid screens before bedtime, limit caffeine and alcohol intake, and create a calming bedtime ritual to signal to your body that it's time to unwind and rest. 5. Move your body regularly. Physical activity is a powerful form of self-care that promotes physical health, mental clarity, and emotional well-being. Find activities that you enjoy, whether it's yoga, dancing, walking, or strength training, and incorporate them into your daily routine. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week to reap the benefits of regular physical activity. 6. Nurture connections. Cultivate meaningful connections with others as part of your self-care routine. Whether it's spending quality time with loved ones, reaching out to friends for support, or participating in community activities, nurturing relationships provides a sense of belonging and support that enhances overall well-being. 7. Practice gratitude. Incorporate gratitude practices into your daily routine to cultivate a mindset of appreciation and abundance. Take a few moments each day to reflect on the things you're grateful for, whether it's the beauty of nature, the support of loved ones, or the small joys of everyday life. Cultivating gratitude fosters a sense of positivity and resilience that can help you navigate life's challenges with grace and perspective. By integrating these practical self-care strategies into your daily routine, you'll nurture your physical, mental, and emotional well-being and cultivate a greater sense of balance, resilience, and fulfillment in life.
Remember that self-care is not selfish but essential for thriving in today's fast-paced world. Make yourself a priority and honor your needs with compassion and intentionality each day. Conclusion In the journey of life, prioritizing self-care emerges not as a luxury but as an imperative for holistic well-being. This chapter has underscored the vital importance of nurturing physical, mental, and emotional health through self-care practices. We've explored the significance of acknowledging and honoring our own needs amidst the demands of external responsibilities. Self-care is the cornerstone upon which our ability to care for others and navigate life's challenges rests. By tending to our physical health, we fortify our bodies against the strains of stress and fatigue. Through nurturing our mental well-being, we cultivate clarity of mind and emotional resilience. And by embracing emotional health, we foster a sense of self-awareness and inner peace that radiates outward. Yet, the journey of self-care is not without its challenges, particularly when it comes to navigating feelings of guilt and balancing personal needs with external obligations. We've delved into the complexities of overcoming guilt and finding harmony between self-care and selflessness, recognizing that both are essential components of a fulfilling life. As we move forward, let us carry with us the understanding that self-care is not a selfish act but a necessary one. By prioritizing our own well-being, we not only enhance our capacity to care for others but also model healthy behaviors and boundaries for those around us. In the chapters ahead, we'll continue to explore practical strategies for embracing self-care and nurturing a more balanced and fulfilling life. Chapter 4 Embracing Imperfection Perfectionism and the fear of failure can be major barriers to caring less. This chapter examines the concept of embracing imperfection as a catalyst for growth and resilience. It encourages readers to reframe their mindset towards failure and view it as a natural part of the learning process. Understanding the Roots of Perfectionism and Its Impact on Mental Well-Being Perfectionism, often perceived as an asset, can have profound effects on mental well-being when taken to extremes. At its core, perfectionism stems from a deep-seated fear of failure, inadequacy, or rejection. Individuals who struggle with perfectionism often hold themselves to impossibly high standards and are overly critical of their own performance and achievements. The roots of perfectionism can often be traced back to childhood experiences where external validation and praise were contingent upon meeting certain expectations or standards. Whether it was academic success, athletic prowess, or social approval, many individuals internalized the belief that their worth was tied to their ability to meet these standards flawlessly. As a result, perfectionists develop an insatiable need for control and validation, constantly striving to avoid mistakes or shortcomings at all costs. This relentless pursuit of perfection can lead to heightened levels of stress, anxiety, and self-doubt as individuals become trapped in a cycle of unrealistic expectations and self-criticism. Moreover, perfectionism can impair interpersonal relationships as individuals may project their own unrealistic standards onto others or withdraw from social situations for fear of judgment or failure. This sense of isolation and inadequacy only serves to perpetuate feelings of loneliness and disconnection, further exacerbating mental health issues. Ultimately, perfectionism undermines mental well-being by fostering an environment of constant pressure, self-doubt, and fear of failure. By understanding the roots of perfectionism and its impact on mental health, individuals can begin to challenge these ingrained beliefs and cultivate a more compassionate and accepting relationship with themselves. This journey towards self-compassion and authenticity is essential for breaking free from the shackles of perfectionism and nurturing greater resilience and well-being. Cultivating Self-Compassion and Embracing Vulnerability Self-compassion and vulnerability are essential components of embracing imperfection and fostering resilience in the face of failure. Cultivating self-compassion involves treating oneself with kindness, understanding, and acceptance, especially during moments of struggle or difficulty. Embracing vulnerability means allowing oneself to be open, authentic, and imperfect, despite the fear of judgment or rejection. Importance of Cultivating Self-Compassion and Embracing Vulnerability Enhanced resilience, self-compassion enables individuals to bounce back from setbacks and failures with greater ease and resilience. By offering oneself the same kindness and support that one would offer to a friend, individuals can navigate challenges with greater emotional fortitude and perspective. 
Improved mental well-being, embracing vulnerability and practicing self-compassion fosters a sense of inner peace and acceptance. Instead of harsh self-criticism and judgment, individuals learn to approach themselves with gentleness and understanding, leading to reduced levels of stress, anxiety, and depression. Stronger connections, vulnerability is the foundation of authentic connections and meaningful relationships. When individuals allow themselves to be vulnerable, they create opportunities for genuine connection and intimacy with others. Self-compassion further strengthens these connections by fostering empathy and understanding towards oneself and others. How to Cultivate Self-Compassion and Embrace Vulnerability 1. Practice Mindfulness Cultivate mindfulness by bringing nonjudgmental awareness to your thoughts, emotions, and experiences. Notice moments of self-criticism or judgment and gently redirect your attention towards self-compassionate thoughts and responses. 2. Challenge inner critic. Identify and challenge your inner critic, the voice that perpetuates self-doubt and negativity. Replace self-critical thoughts with words of kindness and encouragement, acknowledging that imperfection is a natural part of the human experience. 3. Practice self-kindness. Treat yourself with the same kindness and care that you would offer to a loved one in times of need. Engage in self-soothing activities, such as taking a warm bath, reading a favorite book, or practicing relaxation techniques to nurture yourself during difficult moments. 4. Cultivate gratitude. Cultivate gratitude for your strengths, accomplishments, and experiences, as well as for the challenges and setbacks that have contributed to your growth and resilience. Recognize that each experience, whether positive or negative, has the potential to teach valuable lessons and foster personal growth. 5. Seek support. Reach out to supportive friends, family members, or mental health professionals who can offer empathy, validation, and guidance on your journey towards self-compassion and vulnerability. Share your struggles and vulnerabilities openly, knowing that you are worthy of love and acceptance just as you are. By cultivating self-compassion and embracing vulnerability, individuals can liberate themselves from the constraints of perfectionism and fear of failure. Instead of striving for unattainable ideals, they learn to embrace their imperfections and vulnerabilities as sources of strength and resilience. In doing so, they foster greater well-being, authenticity, and connection in their lives. Embracing setbacks, turning challenges into growth. Embracing mistakes and setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth is essential for cultivating resilience and moving forward in life. Instead of viewing failures as signs of incompetence or inadequacy, individuals can reframe their mindset and approach setbacks with curiosity, openness, and a willingness to learn. Importance of Embracing Mistakes and Setbacks Promotes resilience. Embracing mistakes and setbacks fosters resilience by teaching individuals to bounce back from adversity with greater strength and determination. Rather than allowing failures to define them, individuals can use setbacks as stepping stones towards personal and professional growth. Encourages innovation. Mistakes and setbacks provide valuable feedback and insights that can lead to innovation and creativity. By exploring alternative solutions and approaches, individuals can uncover new opportunities and possibilities that may not have been apparent before. Facilitates personal growth. Every mistake and setback presents an opportunity for self-reflection and growth. By examining the root causes of failures and identifying areas for improvement, individuals can develop new skills, perspectives, and insights that contribute to their personal and professional development. How to Embrace Mistakes and Setbacks 1. Shift your perspective. Instead of viewing mistakes as failures, reframe them as learning experiences. Recognize that setbacks are a natural part of the growth process and an opportunity to refine your skills and strategies. 2. Practice self-reflection. Take time to reflect on the lessons and insights gained from mistakes and setbacks. Ask yourself what you can learn from the experience and how you can apply these lessons to future challenges. 3. Seek feedback. Seek feedback from trusted mentors, colleagues, or friends to gain different perspectives on the situation. Use constructive criticism as an opportunity to identify areas for improvement and growth. 4. Focus on solutions. Instead of dwelling on the problem, focus your energy on finding solutions and moving forward. Break down the challenge into smaller, more manageable steps and take proactive measures to address each one. 
5. Cultivate resilience. Cultivate resilience by building coping skills and strategies that help you navigate adversity with grace and determination. Practice mindfulness, self-care, and stress management techniques to bolster your emotional and mental well-being. By embracing mistakes and setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth, individuals can cultivate resilience, innovation, and personal development. Instead of fearing failure, they can approach challenges with confidence, knowing that each setback brings them one step closer to success. Conclusion In the journey of self-discovery and personal growth, embracing imperfection becomes a pivotal step towards liberation from the confines of perfectionism. Throughout this chapter, we've delved into the roots of perfectionism and its profound impact on mental well-being, explored the transformative power of self-compassion and vulnerability, and learned to embrace mistakes and setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth. Perfectionism, often rooted in childhood experiences and societal pressures, can exert a heavy toll on our mental health, leading to heightened levels of stress, anxiety, and self-doubt. By understanding the origins of perfectionism and its detrimental effects, we can begin to challenge these ingrained beliefs and cultivate a more compassionate and accepting relationship with ourselves. Cultivating self-compassion involves treating ourselves with kindness and understanding, especially during moments of struggle or difficulty. Embracing vulnerability means allowing ourselves to be open, authentic, and imperfect, despite the fear of judgment or rejection. Through mindfulness, self-reflection, and seeking support from others, we can nurture a deeper sense of self-compassion and embrace vulnerability as a source of strength and resilience. Moreover, by embracing mistakes and setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth, we foster resilience, innovation, and personal development. Instead of fearing failure, we can approach challenges with confidence, knowing that each setback brings us one step closer to success. In conclusion, embracing imperfection is not about striving for flawlessness, but rather about embracing our humanity and recognizing the beauty in our flaws and vulnerabilities. It's about acknowledging that we are all works in progress, and that true growth and fulfillment come from embracing our imperfections and learning to love ourselves unconditionally. As we continue on our journey towards self-discovery and personal growth, may we remember to be gentle with ourselves, to embrace our imperfections, and to celebrate the beauty of our unique journey. Chapter 5 Living Mindfully Mindfulness is a powerful tool for cultivating awareness and presence in the moment. This chapter explores the practice of mindfulness as a means to detach from worries about the past and future, and to find peace and fulfillment in the present moment. Reducing Stress, Enhancing Life Mindfulness, the practice of intentionally focusing one's attention on the present moment without judgment, offers a multitude of benefits for reducing stress and enhancing overall quality of life. In today's fast-paced world, where stress and anxiety often dominate our thoughts and experiences, cultivating mindfulness provides a powerful antidote to the pressures of daily life. The benefits of mindfulness in reducing stress and enhancing overall quality of life are manifold. 1. Stress Reduction Mindfulness has been shown to reduce levels of cortisol, the stress hormone, in the body. By bringing attention to the present moment and observing thoughts and sensations without judgment, individuals can alleviate the physiological and psychological symptoms of stress, promoting a greater sense of calm and relaxation. 2. Improved Emotional Regulation Mindfulness cultivates greater awareness of thoughts, emotions, and bodily sensations, allowing individuals to respond to challenging situations with greater equanimity and resilience. By developing the capacity to observe and acknowledge difficult emotions without becoming overwhelmed by them, individuals can navigate stressors with greater ease and emotional balance. 3. Enhanced Mental Clarity Mindfulness enhances cognitive function and mental clarity by fostering present moment awareness and reducing rumination on past regrets or future worries. By anchoring attention to the present moment, individuals can free themselves from the grip of repetitive or negative thought patterns, promoting greater mental clarity and focus. 4. Increased Self-Compassion Mindfulness encourages individuals to cultivate self-compassion and kindness towards themselves and others. By observing thoughts and experiences with an attitude of acceptance and nonjudgment, individuals can develop greater self-compassion and resilience in the face of adversity, enhancing overall well-being and satisfaction with life. 
5. Greater Relationship Satisfaction Mindfulness enhances interpersonal relationships by fostering empathy, compassion, and effective communication. By bringing mindful awareness to interactions with others, individuals can cultivate deeper connections and understanding, promoting greater relationship satisfaction and harmony. Overall, the practice of mindfulness offers profound benefits for reducing stress and enhancing overall quality of life. By cultivating present moment awareness and non-judgmental acceptance, individuals can navigate life's challenges with greater resilience, clarity, and compassion, leading to a greater sense of fulfillment and well-being. Techniques for daily practice Incorporating mindfulness into daily routines and activities is essential for reaping its benefits and cultivating a greater sense of presence and well-being. Mindfulness practice doesn't have to be confined to formal meditation sessions. It can be seamlessly integrated into everyday activities, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities for mindfulness and self-awareness. Here are some techniques for incorporating mindfulness into daily routines and activities. 1. Mindful breathing. Start by bringing awareness to your breath throughout the day. Take a few moments to focus on the sensation of the breath entering and leaving your body. Notice the rise and fall of your chest or the feeling of air passing through your nostrils. This simple practice can help anchor your attention in the present moment and promote relaxation and clarity. 2. Mindful eating. Transform meal times into opportunities for mindfulness by savoring each bite with full attention. Notice the colors, textures, and flavors of your food. Chew slowly and deliberately, paying attention to the sensations of taste and texture. By eating mindfully, you can enhance your enjoyment of food, regulate your appetite, and cultivate a greater appreciation for nourishment. 3. Mindful walking. Take mindful walks as a way to connect with nature and ground yourself in the present moment. As you walk, notice the sensations of your feet touching the ground, the rhythm of your breath, and the sights and sounds around you. Resist the urge to rush or multitask. Instead, allow yourself to fully experience each step and embrace the beauty of the present moment. 4. Mindful work. Infuse mindfulness into your workday by taking short breaks to pause and breathe. Use these moments of mindfulness to check in with yourself, release tension, and refocus your attention. Whether you're responding to emails, attending meetings, or completing tasks, approach each activity with a sense of presence and intentionality. 5. Mindful listening. Practice mindful listening in your interactions with others. Instead of planning your response or letting your mind wander, fully engage with the speaker and listen with curiosity and openness. Pay attention to both verbal and nonverbal cues and resist the urge to interrupt or judge. By practicing mindful listening, you can deepen your connections with others and foster greater empathy and understanding. 6. Mindful Relaxation Dedicate time each day to engage in relaxation practices that promote mindfulness and stress relief. This could include activities such as yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises, or progressive muscle relaxation. Find techniques that resonate with you and incorporate them into your daily routine to promote relaxation and inner peace. By incorporating these mindfulness techniques into your daily routines and activities, you can cultivate a greater sense of awareness, presence, and well-being in your life. Remember that mindfulness is a skill that can be developed over time with practice and patience. By embracing mindfulness as a way of life, you can find greater peace and fulfillment in each moment, regardless of the circumstances. Cultivating Gratitude and Finding Joy Practicing mindfulness not only helps us become more aware of the present moment but also enables us to cultivate gratitude and find joy in life's simple pleasures. By training our minds to focus on what we have rather than what we lack, we can enhance our overall sense of well-being and contentment. 1. Gratitude Journaling One powerful way to cultivate gratitude is through journaling. Set aside time each day to reflect on the things you're grateful for and write them down in a journal. This practice encourages you to focus on the positive aspects of your life, no matter how small, and helps shift your mindset towards gratitude and abundance. 2. Mindful Appreciation Take moments throughout the day to pause and appreciate the beauty and wonder of the world around you. Whether it's admiring a vibrant sunset, savoring the aroma of freshly brewed coffee, or marveling at the intricacies of nature, practicing mindful appreciation can enhance your sense of awe and gratitude for life's simple pleasures. 
3. Gratitude Meditation Incorporate gratitude into your mindfulness meditation practice by focusing on feelings of appreciation and thankfulness. Begin by sitting in a comfortable position and taking a few deep breaths to center yourself. Then, bring to mind three things you're grateful for and spend a few moments reflecting on each one. Notice the sensations, emotions, and thoughts that arise as you cultivate feelings of gratitude and appreciation. For acts of kindness, engage in acts of kindness and generosity towards others as a way to cultivate gratitude and connection. Whether it's offering a helping hand to a friend in need, volunteering in your community, or simply expressing gratitude to those around you, practicing kindness can foster a sense of interconnectedness and gratitude for the abundance in your life. 5. Mindful Eating Transform mealtimes into opportunities for gratitude and appreciation by practicing mindful eating. Before each meal, take a moment to express gratitude for the food you're about to eat and the hands that prepared it. As you eat, savor each bite mindfully, paying attention to the flavors, textures, and nourishment that the food provides. 6. Gratitude Walks Take mindful walks outdoors and use them as an opportunity to cultivate gratitude for the beauty of nature. Notice the sights, sounds, and sensations around you as you walk and take time to appreciate the abundance of life that surrounds you. Allow yourself to feel a sense of awe and wonder as you connect with the natural world. 7. Gratitude Rituals Incorporate gratitude rituals into your daily routine, such as starting or ending each day with a gratitude practice. This could involve expressing gratitude aloud with your family or creating a gratitude jar where you write down things you're thankful for and read them aloud periodically. These rituals serve as gentle reminders to focus on the blessings in your life and cultivate a grateful heart. By incorporating these mindfulness practices into your daily life, you can cultivate a deeper sense of gratitude and find joy in the simple pleasures that surround you. Remember that gratitude is a skill that can be developed and strengthened with practice, and that by actively seeking out moments of appreciation and thankfulness, you can transform your outlook on life and enhance your overall well-being. Conclusion In the fast-paced hustle and bustle of modern life, mindfulness emerges as a beacon of calm amidst the chaos. Throughout this chapter, we've explored the profound benefits of mindfulness in reducing stress, enhancing overall quality of life, and cultivating gratitude and joy in the present moment. Mindfulness serves as a powerful antidote to the anxieties and stresses that often plague our daily lives. By bringing attention to the present moment with openness and curiosity, we can detach from worries about the past and future and find peace and fulfillment in the here and now. We've delved into the myriad benefits of mindfulness, from stress reduction and emotional regulation to increased self-compassion and greater relationship satisfaction. By cultivating present moment awareness and non-judgmental acceptance, we can navigate life's challenges with greater resilience, clarity, and compassion. Moreover, we've explored practical techniques for incorporating mindfulness into daily routines and activities, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities for self-awareness and well-being. Whether it's mindful breathing, eating, walking, or working, mindfulness offers a gateway to greater presence and peace in our lives. Finally, we've delved into the transformative power of gratitude and joy through mindfulness practices. By training our minds to focus on what we have rather than what we lack, we can cultivate a deeper sense of appreciation for life's simple pleasures and find fulfillment in each moment. As we conclude this chapter on living mindfully, let us remember that mindfulness is not merely a practice but a way of life, a journey of self-discovery and self-compassion. By embracing mindfulness with openness and curiosity, we can unlock the fullness of each moment and live with greater ease, joy, and authenticity. May we continue to cultivate mindfulness in our daily lives, finding peace and fulfillment in the present moment and nurturing our well-being with compassion and gratitude. As we embark on this journey together, may we discover the profound richness and beauty that lie within each breath, each step, and each heartbeat. Chapter 6 The Freedom of Caring Less In this concluding chapter, the journey of learning to care less is celebrated as a path to greater freedom, fulfillment, and authenticity. It reinforces the importance of self-awareness, self-compassion, and intentional living in maintaining a balanced and fulfilling life. Reflecting on Personal Growth as we come to the end of this transformative journey of learning to care less, it's essential to take a moment to reflect on the personal growth and insights gained along the way. 
Each chapter has been a stepping stone towards greater self-awareness, self-compassion, and intentional living, guiding us towards a life of greater freedom and fulfillment. Throughout this journey, we've confronted our fears, challenged our beliefs, and embraced our imperfections with courage and compassion. We've learned to let go of the need for external validation and approval, finding strength and confidence in our own intrinsic worth and value. We've discovered that caring less doesn't mean apathy or indifference but rather a shift in perspective, a liberation from the burdens of perfectionism, comparison, and people-pleasing. By learning to prioritize our well-being and authenticity, we've opened ourselves up to greater joy, peace, and freedom in our lives. Along the way, we've stumbled and faltered, faced setbacks and challenges, but through it all, we've persevered with resilience and grace. We've embraced the journey of self-discovery as an ongoing process, recognizing that personal growth is not a destination but a lifelong pursuit. Embracing the Lifelong Practice As we conclude our exploration of caring less as a pathway to greater freedom and fulfillment, it's vital to recognize that this journey is not a one-time event but rather a lifelong practice. Embracing the ongoing process of caring less requires dedication, commitment, and a willingness to continually cultivate self-awareness and self-compassion. Caring less is not about becoming indifferent or detached from the world around us. Instead, it's about cultivating a healthy detachment from the need for external validation, the fear of judgment, and the pursuit of perfection. It's about learning to let go of the things that no longer serve us and focusing our energy on what truly matters, our well-being, authenticity, and inner peace. Embracing caring less as a lifelong practice means recognizing that it's okay to stumble and falter along the way. We may find ourselves slipping back into old patterns of perfectionism or people-pleasing, but each setback serves as an opportunity for growth and learning. By approaching the process with patience, resilience, and self-compassion, we can navigate the inevitable challenges and setbacks with grace and determination. Caring less is not a destination to be reached but rather a journey to be embraced. It's a continual process of self-discovery, growth, and transformation, a journey that unfolds one moment at a time. As we navigate the ups and downs of life, we can draw upon the principles of self-awareness, self-compassion, and intentional living to guide us on our path. Embracing caring less as a lifelong practice also means recognizing that it's not about achieving a state of perfection but rather striving for progress and growth. We may never fully rid ourselves of self-doubt or insecurity, but we can learn to navigate these challenges with greater resilience and self-acceptance. By embracing our imperfections and vulnerabilities, we can cultivate a deeper sense of authenticity and connection with ourselves and others. As we bring our journey of learning to care less to a close, it's essential to reflect on the profound insights and personal growth we've experienced along the way. Each step of this journey has been a testament to our commitment to greater freedom, fulfillment, and authenticity. We've delved into the depths of self-awareness, practiced self-compassion, and embraced intentional living as pillars of our balanced and fulfilling lives. Now, as we stand at the threshold of this concluding chapter, let us embrace the truth that the journey of caring less is not a destination but a lifelong practice. It is a continuous evolution, an ongoing commitment to nurturing our well-being, authenticity, and inner peace. As we navigate the complexities of life, let us remember that each moment presents an opportunity for growth and transformation. Embracing the ongoing process of caring less is an invitation to live with greater intentionality and presence. It's about releasing the grip of perfectionism and the need for external validation and instead anchoring ourselves in the present moment. By cultivating self-awareness and self-compassion, we empower ourselves to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Furthermore, let us find encouragement in the principles discussed throughout this book. As we continue to explore and apply these principles in our daily lives, may we cultivate a deeper sense of joy, peace, and freedom. Let us remember the power of mindfulness, gratitude, and embracing imperfection as catalysts for growth and transformation. As we embark on the journey ahead, let us do so with open hearts and open minds. Let us approach each day with a spirit of curiosity and a willingness to learn and grow. And let us remember that true freedom lies not in caring less about everything, but in caring deeply about what truly matters, our relationships, our passions, and our connection to ourselves and the world around us. In closing, I encourage you to continue exploring and applying the principles discussed in this book. 
May you find solace in the journey of caring less and discover a life filled with greater joy, peace, and freedom. Thank you for accompanying me on this journey, and may your path be illuminated by the light of authenticity and self-discovery.